Two weeks after the West Sumeria Trade Conference, Crossbell had been consumed by a quiet enthusiasm. Leman, Ored, and North Ambria's statehoods were accepted after each was acknowledged as such by the holy city of Arteria. However, to act as a buffer zone between the two nations, Crossbell's autonomy was granted to it by Erebonia and Calvert. 10% of all state revenue is paid back to the Empire and the Republic in the form of mandate fees. Crossbell's growth as an economic hub, as well as its fragile political foundation, allowed for its unique set of circumstances. The state has been vulnerable to foreign tampering, the rise of criminal organizations, and other further complications. Those complications led citizens to be sympathetic to Mayor Croy's position. Independence may cure Crossbell of its systemic problems. Others are concerned about retaliation from the two major powers. As the days passed, debates over the pros and cons of independence became more feverish. Are we heading to Mishlam or away from Mishlam? Triple dot. It's no use. It's been almost half a month since what happened, yet I still can't... I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to drag the mood down. Besides, you were the head of a pack once. What should a leader do at a time like this? Randy, Ellie, even Noel, all seem to have a lot on their minds. I know it's been hard on Kia, too, seeing us like this. Oh, I see. Of course, that makes sense. Uh, come again? <laughs> Sorry, Zite. Maybe I'm just being restless. Tia. The breeze really is nice. I'm thankful the weather is so cooperative on our rare day off. Yeah, that's true. And again, getting invited on this trip out of the blue by Maria Bell hasn't helped me not overthink things. Did you think she was laying some kind of trap for you? Even now you cannot seem to escape her crosshairs. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that thought did cross my mind. Sorry, Tio. You've only been back for a couple of weeks and you've already seen me look this pathetic. No need to apologize. You witnessed needless death happen right in front of you. Anyone would be shaken by what happened. Maybe. But as a detective, I prepared myself for that kind of possibility. After what we went through with Joachim, would I be accustomed to the worst possible outcome? Looks like I'm still lacking a lot, both as a detective and as a leader. <sighs> being prepared for death and being accustomed to it are two very different things, aren't they? But that way, I would be the most prepared. Out of all of us, Randy would be the most accustomed to it. I guess so. However, that doesn't change the fact that you are the aptest detective among us. I can say I would not have the guts to act as leader, either. I think what everyone expects from you is different than what you're thinking. Tio. You're right. You're absolutely right. After what we witnessed, I was stuck. Couldn't move my feet because I hadn't steeled myself as much as I thought. Then let go. What better time than now, while we're on vacation? Wouldn't a good leader make sure everyone has a good time? Himself included? And got me there. Only reens count. Thank you, dear. I'll get right on that and go talk with the others. Yes. I think that would be a good idea. But, um... Oh! S sorry. Sorry about that. I only wanted to express my gratitude. I didn't mean to treat you like a child. No, that is not it. It's more like I... Huh? Never mind. 
please go talk to the others. Uh, okay. Good goddess. Actually see what he said. Interesting. Your wolf. What a troublesome leader. Something along those lines. <laughs> I guess I thinks I should follow his example. He is a fool, and he should try being more thoughtful. We're also mixed in there somewhere. You sure you're not being liberal with the interpretation? I have no idea what you're talking about. Grr. Get the feeling Zayat is looking forward to this vacation too. Moving on, we should take this opportunity to enjoy a much needed break. When we came here for the auction, we did not have time to enjoy what Michelin has to offer. I like this. Like after the trade conference, so like, we're going to be able to go on like the rides and stuff. Because that would be such a... Again, because I have foreknowledge of certain things that are coming. It's like, it's going to be... All hell is going to break loose, is the best way of putting it. All hell is going to break loose in Crossbell. I know this. Just, just, there's a bubble, there's a trade. The stuff is going to happen. So the trade conference happening was fantastic. I want to put my foot down here and have my opinion very, very clear. That was fantastic. Everything I was looking forward to, that was awesome. So good. So good. What was my point? I just got distracted by pointing out how good that was. But yes, we got all that action happening. So this is just like a nice little break at Michelin. I want to go on the rides. I want to have a bit of fun before we go back to all hell breaking loose. And if that's the case, perfect timing for it. Perfect timing. Yeah, this is my first time visiting for pleasure rather than for business. When you say what it has to offer, what you really mean is the theme park, don't you? <laughs> I will not deny it. Michelin Wonderland, otherwise known as MWL to true believers. Soon Mishi and I will be together at last. You're our resident Mishi expert, Tio. So I'm counting on you to teach me the ways of Mishi once we get to the theme park, okay? Gladly. First, we must go over Mishi's origin arc and the structure of his family lineage. Please take out your detective notebook, Lloyd. Is it really that in depth? I'll teach you everything I know about Mishi once we arrive at the park, Lloyd. I'd like to know more. I suggest you pass the time by speaking with the others on the way. I'm ready to learn more about Mishi. Mishi, she, she, she. Oh, was he? Hello. Yeah, Lloyd. Looks like you're back to your usual self. <laughs> more or less. How about you, Wazzy? You seem to be holding up okay. As relaxed as ever, I'd say. You know me so well! It's not like I haven't seen death with my own eyes before. It's before coming to Crossbell, though. Oh, I see. Wait. Never heard you talk about anything like that in your past, Wazzy. Used together that you weren't born in Crossbell, but... <laughs> a boy has to have his secrets! But that's right, I came from rather humble beginnings. The downtown district is heavenly compared to where I grew up. Wow, that's saying a lot. Sonny from Mark and Seal said something similar about where she came from. Ah, and she's North Ambrian, isn't she? Yeah, it's not a pretty place to be. It's people barely scrape by, live off the money their Jaegers make taking foreign contracts. Lines up with what I heard. Have you ever been there before, Wazzy? Huh. I wonder. Hmm. Said you were looking fine, but maybe I got that deduction wrong. Did something happen? No, not to me especially. The Saber Vipers are having a rough go of things, though. Saber Vipers? Something happened to Wald and the others. I would be a little concerned since I left them all to their lonesome. However, can they... Get by down there without my cool, mysterious charms and bad boy charisma. Perish the thought. But you do raise a good point. I've been concerned about Wald. We should swing by Ignis sometime soon to see how he's doing. Thanks, I'd appreciate it. Hmm. I got thoughts there, because it's like, like, I'm like 99.27% sure that he's connected to the church, most likely a Grouser and stuff like that. Again, the Testaments kind of gave away that kind of stuff, but... It's that sense of, like, what's your story? Like, my mind, when he was talking about Northumbria and how he sort of, like, was almost contemplative or thinking back, is like, is it something to do with the Salt Pale? Hmm, 
I will keep an eye on that. It's been a long time since I've been to Michelin for a little R&R. &R. I'm not counting my duties as a host. Looking forward to grabbing a drink at the restaurant there. Care to join me, leader? I don't care for off-duty, a miner still shouldn't be drinking, you know? <laughs> Come now. No need to be so uptight, let loose a little. Being uptight or not isn't the point. Hey, don't you think that guy in the front is a real cutie? Should we ask him out? Should we? All the locals in the city kept going on and on about the independence thing or whatever. We're not from around here, so I don't get what the big deal is. I, it's a very big deal. Trust me. It's so fancy down here. Oh, hello. Oh, look at your hat, sir. The proposal for independence at the end of the trade conference shocked me. I wonder how serious Mayor Croy was when he said that. Honestly, I'm kind of intrigued by the idea. Yeah, me too. The whole reason I came to Crossbell. Visiting the theme park at Michelin. Man, I can't wait. Me and my girlfriend are going to have the time of our lives. I'm looking forward to visiting the high-class restaurant and boutique at Michelin. My boyfriend had better be ready to small me all day. Oh dear. Oh, hello. Welcome to the Michelin cruise ship. You're Miss Maribel's special guest, is that correct? You'll be arriving at Michelin shortly. Until then, I hope you'll enjoy the sights and sounds of Lake Elm on the way. My husband got a nice fat bonus once Orcus Tower's construction was finished, so he planned a little family vacation. I thought we should add it to our nest egg, but he insisted on doing something fun as a family. I'm glad I listened to him. Lima seemed so happy. I decided to spend my husband's bonus on a vac family vacation. Glad we did. Just look at how excited little Lima is. He's looking out the window being like, Hey, where is it? Where's Michelin? Michelin? No one but Mayor Croy is bold enough to propose Crossbell becoming independent straight to Erebonia and Calvert's faces. It's not easier said than done, but I think it could be a dream worth chasing. The mayor is on the verge of bringing Crossbell to new heights. That much I'm sure of. Sorry about that, I'm here to have fun with the family, not get wrapped up in politics. That was silly of me. Make sure Lima and Corona have tons of fun today. Look at it, a fishy just jumped out. Fishy! Randy. Sure was nice of Maria Bell to invite us out like this, huh? We get to stay at a five-star hotel and cut loose at the theme park. Are we lucky? Yeah. Triple dot. <laughs> hey Lloyd. There seems to be a little misunderstanding going on right now. Huh? Those terrorists that got slaughtered. They're thinking that because it was my family that did something so heinous. I must be in shock, right? Well... Uh... No, not quite. I think there's something else eating away at you, Randy. This doesn't have anything to do with your uncle and the others, does it? Damn, got me. I once had a friend. Just a year younger than me. Big puppy dog eyes. Sound familiar? He was the first friend I ever made outside of the core. And then, he was gone. A lot had gone down, and I left the core to start wandering around aimlessly. Eventually, I drifted into Crossbell. I was recruited to the Guardian Force and got my worthless ass fired. Then I met all of you. But even after all that, I don't think I was really being honest with myself. Oh. It's just as Uncle Sigmund said. Seeing those terrorists mutilated like that, eviscerated, kind of sight ain't nothing new to me. On the battlefield, that shit is a Tuesday. The reason I snapped back there was an out of righteous indignation or something conceited like that. I wasn't angry at my uncle, hell. I didn't even feel pity for those dead terrorists. I, after two years, I hadn't changed a goddamn bit. I was disgusted at myself, in shock. In the end, I'm a Jaeger right down to my core. But I lost it. Grabbed it by the collar and then got my ass handed to me. Yeah. Honestly, it was pretty pathetic. <laughs> I know, right? Cool badass like me getting pants like that. In front of the girls, too. I'm never gonna live that one. 
Doesn't matter. Actually, I'm kind of happy to hear this. Say what? The thing is, Randy, never hidden the fact that I lean on you a lot for everything. Once I'm glad that you felt comfortable leaning on me, even if all you needed was an ear. Glad you could tell me this. It's not just me, you know. We all lean on you. Neither of us have been just as concerned as I have. So, is that all you really think of yourself? That you're just some bloodthirsty Jaeger deep down? Not in my eyes. You're not a lot of things to me, but a heartless mercenary who trades a mirror for war isn't one of them. You're frivolous, addicted to nightlife, and dangerously outspoken. You can get a little hot-headed, but cool when it matters most. You're the SSS's older brother, the guy we can look up to and rely on when we need to. That's the Randy Orlando I know. One off day isn't going to change any of that. That, I can assure you of. Rather, Annie and I should be the ones to... Okay, okay, I get it already. How many months have we been doing this? I'm shocked I still underestimated you. So how much of a smooth-talking Casanova are you? C Casanova? I don't know what you're implying, but I don't like it. Did you really have to yell at me? <laughs> Just bursting your balls for making me feel stupid about getting all depressed. Damn, I was only keeping up appearances at first, but now I really do want to cut loose at Michelin. There's only one thing to do. No, strike that. Two things, party all night and pick up some hotties. And you, supreme little brother archetype, are gonna join me. You sure? Anything you say? I'm not sure how I did it, but I guess it worked. Glad I could cheer you up, Randy. Yay, I like that, that's cool. Cool, very cool. It's like I like Randy a lot more just from that one moment. Man, mundane vacations like this aren't my thing. I'm just gonna have to make the most of it and find my own fun at Michelin. What do you say, Lloyd? Wanna come with me to pick up some fine honeys tonight? <laughs> Only if you're fine with me leaving the picking up part to you. What the hell kind of attitude is that? Such a waste of goddess given talent. When are you gonna grow out of that little brother character of yours and put that baby face to work? What are you talking about? Still, it's good to see you're back to your usual self. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a bit more happy, isn't he? Oh, Lloyd san Otsukaresama! Were you up on the deck? Yeah. Felt like getting some fresh air. I'm not interrupting, am I? Well... We're just talking about what happened at the trade conference. And about Mayor Croy's proposal. You mean about Crossbow becoming an independent state? Right, it's hard not to think about. Never would have imagined that Uncle was considering something so audacious. You know what you mean? It's impossible to not have strong feelings and opinions about it. The CGF's future hinges on what might happen next. It's a good point. The Empire and the Republic would be even more serious about scaling back the CGF now. They already proposed having their soldiers stationed at Belgard and Tangram to make up for it. That they did. As far as exploiting Crossbell for more wealth is concerned, the two major powers are not above colluding with one another. When it comes down to it, they'll each look for an opportunity to monopolize Crossbell for themselves. I can't help but think each side is already preparing for that scenario. I hate to say it, but I agree. Then again, maybe the mayor's proposal was him trying to get ahead of that scenario. Crossbell gains independence. I mean, more funding for the CGF. We have armaments that only the major powers have as of now. Not just standard combat weapons and armored cars. Also tanks and patrol ships that could prevent potential foreign invasions. Sorry, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. I'm a little ashamed that the idea makes me excited. Well, keep in mind we don't know how realistic Uncle's proposal is yet. Adamoni and Calvert immediately dismissed it publicly. On the other hand, Laburl, Remiferi, and the Holy City of Arteria were more receptive to the idea. But other states and countries are too. Honestly, the entire situation is frustratingly precarious. I'd say that again. What about today? What do you make of Maria Bell inviting us out like this on the heels of it all? I still get the impression that she's far more concerned about the management side of the IBC than she is about politics. She doesn't seem to have involved herself with her father's proposal at all. 
I'm not so sure about that. Oh, is that right? I'm actually hoping to use this as an opportunity to confront her about it directly. I understand where you're coming from. There are a lot of things I'd like to ask Belle, too. Hey, you two. I know times are complicated right now, but isn't that all the more reason why we should enjoy this trip while we can? Oh. Think of this as an opportunity. It's not every day we can come rest at the hotel in Michelin, right? Maria Belle is even covering for us to cut loose and have a good time at the theme park. I'm not saying we should forget everything that's happened, but I think this is a good chance for us to clear our heads. But after what happened, I... No, because of what happened. After the trade conference, we have no idea what the future has in store for Crossbell anymore. <laughs> in fact, I think we all know that our jobs are about to get a whole lot harder in the near future. Yeah. And that's exactly why we need this. You know, to make memories. M memories? Well, what do you mean by that? Huh? Why would that be strange? <laughs> Maybe what I said was a little too cheesy? No, I didn't think, don't think that's quite it. Is he doing this on purpose, Ellie? No, he isn't. Believe me when I say that it comes to him naturally. <clears throat> Lloyd. When you say memories, are you referring to making them with someone in particular? Huh? No, not really. Just great for the opportunity to take some time off of all of you. I do feel bad the Chief couldn't make it. Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> right, that's a very you answer, Lloyd. Wait, did I miss something here? Is there some kind of misunderstanding for what I said before? It's just, when I saw you two looking down, I thought I should come say something to cheer you up a little and... Well, I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> now I don't know if you're doing this on purpose or just plain awkward. <laughs> I feel a little foolish thinking you meant anything by it now. Sorry, I'll show myself out. Come on, don't be like that. I apologize too, we shouldn't have read so much into it. Yeah, besides, I agree with what you said, Lloyd. We're on vacation, so it's our duty to enjoy it. Yeah. That's one way to put it. Does this count as mission accomplished? Kinda. It's so nice to finally have a vacation. Be a ways to not enjoy it while we can. I believe Belle went out of her way to prepare some surprises too. Don't know about you, but I'm looking forward to it. Surprises from Maria Belle. Makes me kind of nervous, honestly. If it was something like having the entire Michelin staff welcome us. I'd probably die of embarrassment. Belle can definitely be over the top at times. But she wouldn't go that far. Probably. Now I think about it. I wouldn't put it past her. That's pretty adios that she doesn't pull something that crazy. It's not making me any more confident. I think it's that it's that case of like like me pointing out like I don't I don't think Bells is innocent in all of this. Where's the map there? Innocent in all of this at all? Because I pointed out before the corners, the points of Orcus Tower point to four locations: Sunfort, Moon Temple, Stargazer's Tower, and Michelin Resort. And who's in charge of Michelin Resort? Bell. And who's sending us there right now? Bell. Suspicious. I was just thinking that it's really a shame that Chief Sergei couldn't join us. I know he's said to have fun without him, but I feel kind of guilty about it. Granted, the Chief is a busy man, but I know what you mean. Maybe he was being reserved and saving himself the embarrassment of us seeing what he's like in his private life. <laughs> that would be fun to see. I was say that's just basically the same, isn't it? Um, that's a chair. I'm sure there's... There's gotta be somewhere else to go, right? Is there not like a, a down over here or something? No? Back to the top then. See, how did she get there? Where was she hiding? There you are, Kia. She's probably been worried sick about us the last several days. What if you two said anything different? Don't you think that guy in the front of the room? No. Hey, Kia. I was wondering where you went. Uh, <laughs> What's bothering you? Just a little bit further. You're going to love it there. It's even a theme park, so we can play together all we want. 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kia. I can tell we have been worrying you lately. You don't have to be sorry, I'm okay. I don't know what happened, but... You no, know, everyone has been acting sad back at home. I really wanted to cheer all of you up, but... I don't think I was doing a very good job. Duh. Hmm. You're doing just fine. Having you by our side is more than enough, Kia. Where do you think we find the strength to keep soldiering on? Really? I wonder if that's true. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know how to how I do that. But you're saying that I cheer everyone up, right? You really are amazing, Lloyd. I am? <laughs> Look who's talking. Anyways, like I said, we're all together this time, so let's relax and have fun. Hope you're looking forward to going to the theme park together. Sure am. <laughs> she way she lifted her hands. It's adorable. I really want to ride the Ferris wheel. Oh, uh, and do the kick Mishy thing with Tio too. Kick Mishy? Is that something kid? Is is that something kids do there? And isn't Tio getting a little too old for that sort of thing? I heard that. I do not need you to remind me of how old I am. Tio, I mean, uh, hi, everyone. What's up, guys? Woof. <laughs> We've been looking for you two. We're just about to arrive. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess we are. Isn't it pretty? And the weather's perfect too. Today couldn't be better. Now you're talking. I'm getting pretty hyped. I'm getting pretty worried. <coughs> Mishlam Resort. That's it, single fire everyone. Not break the line. Social distancing. Here we are. Take it Maria Bell is waiting for us somewhere. Bell said she'd meet us at 9.30 sharp. So she should be here any second. Wait, I know that voice. What the? Oh, I love the fact friends here. Come on in! Hey, it's Fran! What are you doing here? I just saw you yesterday. You didn't mention anything about going to Mishlam. <laughs> That's because it would have ruined the surprise, Noe. Besides, I'm not the only surprise guest who agreed to keep it secret. We've been waiting for you. I see the gang's all here. I think we're going to have a lot of fun today. You two. Another familiar voice. Yes! Alright, Randy, calm down. Hey, it's a seal! And Arkan Seal. Thank Adios for blessing us with this bounty of beauties. Goddess has her ways, but there's only one woman who could arrange for something like this. It was you, wasn't it, Belle? <laughs> Guilty as charged. Maria Bella, what's going on here? After inviting all of you, I thought it'd be more fun if I also extended invites to some of your closest friends. This also serves as a little time off to recharge our conceal before the opening of next month's encore performance. Hey boys and girls, how's it going? <laughs> it's good to see all of you again. Why did I get dragged to this? <laughs> This certainly is a surprise. Did you take the day off from work for this, Cecile? I happened to have a personal day I could take when Ilya called me out of the blue. When I heard you and the others would be coming, I thought, why not? I hope that I'm not spoiling your fun today. Not at all, I'm glad you're here. Oh yes! Someone pinch me because I think I'm dreaming. Cecile, Leah, and so many other babes in one place. I've died and gone to heaven. Randy, volume down. 
I can hardly blame the man. Still, this is pretty shocking. Are we all staying at the same hotel? Indeed you are. I have had suites prepared for everyone on the third floor. Let's head there now so you can drop off your luggage. After that, I'm taking you straight to Michelin's hottest new attraction. New attraction? Are you not referring to the theme park? <laughs> it's pretty surprising when I heard about it too. Thing is, Michelin recently opened a new area for the public. And we got it all to ourselves until noon. Reserving it so that you could all have fun and relax was a matter of course. Huh? What kind of place are all of you talking about? It's a little slice of paradise I specifically had made since Crossbell is landlocked. Lake Elm's very own white sand getaway. Lakeside Beach. Intermission. A brief respite. This is going to end badly, isn't it? I can already feel it. It's going to... It, 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 intermission's going to end badly. Do I get to see the rooms? Here is your room, thank you. Oh, look at the beds. They look so soft. It's so lavish. I'll say, it's perfect. Did you have the number of beds in here changed just for us? Top class service is a given at a top class hotel. They didn't accommodate my request to have a lock placed on this room's door from the outside, though. Oh, so they didn't... Do you trust us that little? Huh. Can you say that you're surprised? It's only natural you'd want to protect your other guests. They are all beautiful women. I trust you at the very least, was he? There's Lloyd and Randy here that need to be placed under lock and key. Especially Lloyd, you're a problematic element that needs additional surveillance. Me? This is Lloyd Bennings we're talking about. Knowing him, he'll wander into the lounge in the dead of night, a sleepless girl looking at the moon. And the next thing you know, the mood is just right for a little spark and romance. That's so cliche that I can totally see his normie ass hitting the jackpot like that. Lloyd, how would you like to be locked in the employee nap room tonight? I'll pass, thanks. Hm. You're the worst. By the way, I have to return to the city after this to attend a board meeting. I'd better not catch wind of you lusting after Ellie and the others when they're in their swimsuits. Because if I do, I won't hesitate to call security and have you dropped in the middle of the lake. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Still, you sound really busy, Maribel. Is everything all right? Because of my father and that brazen proposal he made. It's only complicated his work with the IBC, so a decision was made to have the board of directors take over the day-to-day -day operations. Which means that the stress ultimately falls on my shoulders. That's what's happening. I imagine it's been hard. Thanks for giving me as a breather today. Don't forget to take one yourself. Rest and relaxation are the keys to a healthy body and mind, you know? But of course, I appreciate the concern. Remember, the Lakeside Beach reception is in the right wing of the Michelin Center. They rent swimsuits there too, and there are locker rooms to change in. You will be staying in the men's one, am I clear? C Crystal clear. Message received. Lakeside Beach is reserved for all of you until noon. After that, you can have all the fun you'd like at the theme park. I imagine several of your group have visited before, so I'll leave it to you to find your own fun there. This evening, I'll be hosting dinner for all of you at the State Guest House. Formal attire is optional, so only worry about arriving on time and not about your wardrobes. Fair enough. You've really gone above and beyond for all of us. <laughs> it's my pleasure. Have fun! Do be sure to relax and enjoy yourselves. Despite the teasing, I think Maria Bell can be kind when she wants to be. Just wish she'd lighten up a little on the making me the enemy. Sorry, pal, I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon. Enough about that, though. We've got ourselves a beach to hit. Good point. The ladies will likely take a while before they're ready. So what do you say to going on ahead of them? Sounds good. Let's let them know first, then, and then we can go. 
Alright then, so I'm assuming at this point we can do the rounds. Ooh! So yeah, we'll end this part here, and in the next part we'll wander around Mishlam. I assume. I assume it may spark the beach scene for all I know, I don't know. But we'll see you in the next part. Ta-da for now.